seven money saving tips. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven ways that you can actually save money to actually help to fund your business. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Lindsay with lindsaymore.com. And on this channel, I share with you guys ways that you can make money from home, how to make money with affiliate marketing, as well as personal development type videos. Now, the reason why I wanna do this video is because I am in the affiliate marketing space. And over the years, um, you know, I have done affiliate marketing, I have done network marketing, I've promoted my own pro um, products, I sell other people's products as well. And one of the main issues that I always hear from people about why they can't invest into, you know, um, into building a new business online and things like that or to help scale up their business is that they don't have any money. And I always tell people, you have the money. What it is is that you're trying to still maintain your current lifestyle and then trying to um, you know, um, you know, come up with money or whatever else to help fund your new business, okay? So the reason why I wanna do this is because this video is because these are some of the things that I did in the beginning when I got started with my online business. I got started online back in 2013 and I was doing the same thing. I was trying to um, you know, fund my lifestyle pretty much, right? I was still, you know, I had a full-time job um, and with that one paycheck, I was trying to pay my personal bills, then trying to grow to grow a business online and do all this stuff with one paycheck. And quite a few times I hit zero and hit like negative in my bank account trying to do all of this. Okay. So what I want to share with you in, the, in this video again are seven money saving tips that you can use that, that, that will actually help you to come up with the money to either one, save more and then two, um, to help you fund your new online business guys okay so um, if you find this video helpful make sure you go underneath this video hit that subscribe button also hit that like button so that way you can get more updates when I do videos like this onto YouTube so let's go ahead and let's dive into the content and let me share with you the seven money saving tips that I want to share with you <laughs> okay one the first thing that you need to do and this is very very important is you want to track your money now, as simple as this, as this is to do, it's really simple not to do, right? Um, I was actually watching a, um, a, a rerun of this show called um, Back in the Game with Alex Rodriguez on CNBC. And he was interviewing um, Ryan Lochte. And he asked Ryan Lochte, when was the last time he checked his bank account? And he said he, the last time he checked his bank account was 2017. Now, while I laughed at this, this is actually reality for a lot of people. A lot of people refuse to actually even look at their bank account, look at their bank statements, or even track how much money they are sent, you know, putting out and bringing in or whatever else because they already have an idea of that you know that they don't have any money and then if they have to actually face the beast, actually face the music to really see that they're actually blowing their money on insignificant things or really dumb things pretty much. Um, you know, people really try to avoid that as much as possible. So if you haven't already, make sure every day you are tracking your money. S track how much money you have going out. Track how much money you are bringing in. A lot of you guys are probably operating in the black. And that's what happened to me back in 2013 when my account hit negative several times that year. I was operating in the negative a few times because I wasn't tracking my money. I was like, again, I was trying to pay my personal expenses, still trying to hang out with friends, do happy hours. And then also try to buy traffic for my business. I was trying to buy courses for my business. I was trying to do all that with um, all of those things with a bi-weekly paycheck. And again, I was operating in the red quite a few months that year. So again, you want to make sure that you are tracking your money every single day. Now, there are some apps that you can tra track your money with. You can simply just grab a pen and piece of paper and then write down the date and then just track how much money you spent on this, on, on you know going out and the money coming in. Simply, you want to make sure you track your money. If you want to make more money, you have to know how much money you are bringing in. Okay? So that's the first thing that you need to do. Now, the second one that you need to do, and this is one that people are really notorious with, is to cut out all those unnecessary recurring memberships. Okay? So it's really easy to get these memberships because they're really, um, they're, they cost really, um, you know, low in price, right? So like Netflix, I think Netflix is like, 12 to 15 dollars per month or something like that and people are just like okay well 12 to 15 dollars per month that's nothing but all those little payments add up and with those payments because they're so small we always tend to forget about them so again if you track your money like you're supposed to then you know that these payments are getting ready to come out of your account even these small payments of like 4.99 or 9.99 or something like that and a lot of those recurring um, um things come from like things like uh, going to the movies they have membership sites like I said, Netflix, 
um, all these TV apps and all the stuff like that. So if you are, you know, are trying to start a new business online, when I tell you guys that you really want to focus on putting a lot of energy and your focus on building your business, the last thing that you want to do is spend money on all these different type of TV apps or whatever else. Cut back on those apps so that way you can spend more of your time and your focus on growing up and growing your business, okay? Now, um, any other recurring memberships that you don't need, like a gym membership and all that type of stuff, go through your expenses, go through your statements, find all of those un unwant like unnecessary and unused membership recurring membership um you know um you know um payments that are coming out of your account and make sure you go ahead and um delete them or cancel them right now do them right now because if you try to wait until tomorrow trust me you will forget and i'm talking from experience okay <laughs> so get rid of those apps and that way you can start saving more money number three is another big one is to cut back on entertainment and entertainment and expenses. <laughs> I'm so tongue-tied as of recent, okay? So what I mean by entertainment, so I mean going out to happy hour, right? Going out on the weekends, you know, going to the clubs, um, you know, eating out, um, you know, to dinner every, uh, every evening. Um, going out for lunch, if you work a full-time job and you're going out for lunch every single day. Those 10, those 10 to $12 that you're spending for lunch every single day, they add up. Okay, that's roughly about $50 per week that you're spending on just food, right? That's just food that you're spending money on, right? Same thing with, um, you know, um, going to the movies all the time, going to the movies every weekend and all that type of stuff. Again, guys, that type of lifestyle, if you're trying to do that, again, it may only cost, you know, $13 to go to the movies or something like that to go watch a movie. But again, all of those things start to add up at the end of the month, guys, right? So you want to make sure you start cutting back on those things you're gonna to have to start changing up your lifestyle a little bit more right you're probably gonna to have to start inviting friends over if you really want to hang out with your friends invite your friends over um, have them to you know bring a bottle of wine to your house or something like that do things like this so that way you're not spending that much money on entertainment and same thing with like you know going out to eat every single day and going out to lunch every single day again all of those things start to add up so what I did when I started to cut back on my expenses so that way I can actually save more money to put more money into my business is that I stopped going out for lunch at my job when I was working my full-time job. I started to bring a lunch to work. And then um, occasionally if I did go um, have some lunch, I went to the cafeteria downstairs. I went and got me like a salad and I only spent maybe about three bucks or something like that for that salad. I didn't break the bank on trying to buy everything up in the cafeteria or anything like that. And I drank a lot of water. So I didn't have to spend extra money on like soft drinks and all that type of stuff, guys. Okay? So all of those things are ways that you can actually start to cut back and start to save more money, guys. Okay? But you're going to have to start cutting back on your entertainment expenses. Okay? So the next one is you need to cut out bad habits. What I mean by bad habits, if you have a drinking habit, right? If you like to drink alcohol a lot, you like to drink wine a lot. Um, if you smoke weed and all these type of things like that, cut out those habits. Those habits are very expensive and they can be very expensive over time, especially, right? So you need to really start cutting back on those habits, especially if you're going to be building your business. Again, all those things are going to, um, you know, mess with your clarity and your focus for your business. Okay, guys? So just plain and simple, cut out the bad habits. You don't need them. So the next one is to stop choosing convenience over saving, right? So what I mean by this. So it's very notorious, especially in, you know, going into 2000, I mean, especially for 2020 and, and, and uh, beyond, is using apps like DoorDash, Postmates, Instacart, all those type of things. We're using, like, you know, a lot of these apps because we just simply don't want to get in our car and drive to the store or drive to, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, or wherever it is that you're ordering food from, right? Now, while that is really convenient, at the same time, you are paying more because you're paying more in delivery fees. You also have to pay the extra money to um, to tip your drivers and everything else. All those things you could have saved on if you just would have simply just got in your car and drove up the street, <laughs> right? So again, stop choosing convenience over you know over saving. Okay, guys, if you if there's no other way that you can actually get food delivered to, I mean uh, to get food or whatever else, if you don't have a car and you have to depend on those things. I totally understand, but try to minimize that as much as possible. Maybe don't do as so many orders so um, so close or whatever else. Maybe you want to spread them out over time or whatever else. But again, guys, those, those extra fees, 
those delivery fees and everything else start to add up, right? So a $5 meal that you'll get from um, McDonald's can easily turn into a $12 meal from McDonald's simply by using one of these um, these food apps or something like that. So again, be mindful of the apps and, and be mindful of the convenience apps that you are using. Again, start saving money. Start putting, um, you know, saving money as a primary focus instead of just spending money frivolously on things that you can just simply just hop in your car and go and get those items. Now the next thing that you can do is sell your stuff on eBay. So I'm pretty sure there's quite a few things inside of your closet and it's around your house that you can actually sell on eBay. I have done this. I have um, extra stuff that I have from um, you know, um, you know, e-commerce stores and things like that that I also sell on eBay. I even sold personal items on eBay like clothing and things like that as well. Um, I also sold coffee makers, all types of stuff on eBay, okay guys? So go around your house. I'm pretty sure there are things inside of your closet, even um, used tennis shoes, sneakers, anything like that, kid shoes, all that type of stuff like that. It's probably stuff that's in your house that's just collecting dust that you can easily sell on eBay to earn some extra cash and again, you can use that cash to save or to invest into your new business. Now the last one is to use money saving apps whenever possible, okay? So if you have to, you know, um, when you're out shopping and things like that, use money saving apps like Rakuten. You can also use Doge. Um, if you're a person who um, just absolutely loves Starbucks, again, all those things start to add up, especially with Starbucks. That's like five bucks per cup of coffee or something like that then definitely start using apps like in, inbox dollars swag books and things like that use those type of apps where you can actually refer people to the actual um like you know swag books inbox dollars or whatever else and you can actually earn starbucks cash so that way you're now getting your starbucks starbucks for free guys okay but you can do that they also have the get upside app where you can actually save money on your gas and everything else do some of your research Find some of these money, um, these money saving apps so that way you can actually sp um, save more money and again, you, you can have extra money to invest inside of your business guys, okay? I may end up doing a video about that on some money saving apps that you can use that's going to help you to save more money guys, okay? Alright, so in this video, I quickly share with you all seven ways, seven money saving tips that you can use so that way you can actually have money to save but then also to invest into your new business. Again, guys, what I said like uh, in the beginning of this video, um, I one of my primary sources of making money online is affiliate marketing. And that's what I have been doing since 2013. And I have been working full-time from home since 2014, guys, simply by doing affiliate marketing, okay? Now, there's a wide variety of ways that you can do affiliate marketing. I do affiliate marketing for the making money online niche, um, the internet marketing niche. You can also be an affiliate marketer for like beauty products, makeup products, hair care, um, health, anything like that you can always become an affiliate for any type of niche out there guys right but if you want to know more information about how i am making money with affiliate marketing you know with the make money online niche or the internet marketing niche underneath this video in the description below i'm going to include a link where you can find out more information about my number one way that i actually make money online guys so any other website that i also mentioned inside of this video i will also include it below in the description below as well guys so hopefully you found this video helpful and if you would like me to do a video on money on some money saving apps <laughs> it's on some money saving apps make sure you comment below and i'll make sure i'll create that content and post onto this channel guys okay so hopefully you found this video helpful i will see you guys on the next video peace